talking about the numerator now now this interest how much would that interest would have been 1000 into 8 percent which is 80 would now be not required to be paid therefore that will be a saving but you have to also understand that interest is a before tax element so therefore a tax rate of 40 percent you know uh, will have to be applied so the net saving to the equity stakeholders is only going to be after tax so that gives me a number of 48 uh, you know it is 0.6 so uh, 8 6 is 48 divided by 3 gives you 16 what does my step says that if the impact of result you know the result of the impact assessment which is 16 that I'm getting is lower than the basic EPS which is 50 then my security is dilutive so therefore I conclude here that my B1 is a dilutive security okay let's just take it easy let's do it for P1 okay now this time uh, you lead the way how much is the addition to the this denominator if the convertible that we are looking at this preference here would get converted into equity in the current year itself so in this case the delta is going to be plus 2 and how much dividend I would have paid to them 12% is the preference dividend rate upon uh, multiply that by 1000 which is 120 so for P1 the impact assessment is coming at 60 which is higher than 50 therefore my preference p1 is an anti dilutive security. what do you mean by that even if p1 gets converted into equity my new investor which was sulking few times a few minutes ago will have a very very happy moment because it will have the result of increasing its own eps let's talk about p2 should I talk about P2 is my first question answer is a big no because P2 is anyways non convertible therefore it is not a potential security hence there is no question of it becoming dilutive stroke anti dilutive let's talk about B2 bond 2 now in case of second bond uh, well the delta NR and delta DR my delta DR is always simpler so therefore you should write that you know first uh, is plus 1 how much is the amount that you would have paid to them in the current year that is going to be let's say 50 500 into 10% and again since it is a bond uh, you know interest it will be a tax deductible therefore you'll have to do 1 minus t here okay there are few observations that I am going to come in a while which is giving me a number of 30 therefore again this is a dilutive security it's only a matter of chance that you know the bonds are coming as dilutive it is not to be read that all bonds are dilutive and all preferences are non-dilutive that is not what we are trying to say we are going to look at each convertible individually that's the first learning that I'm here for my second learning here for is that anything which is non convertible is not to be considered upfront okay the third learning that I'm saying here is that for bonds since the interest is tax deductible therefore there is an element of 1 minus C that you got to add because even if you are saving $80 of interest your EBIT goes up by 80 Cetris Paribas your PBT my apologies your EBIT remains same your PBT goes up by you know $80 and the tax element also goes up by 40% of 80 which is 32 so the net impact on PAT is going to be positive we are not denying that fact but is not going to be positive to the extent of 80 it is going to be positive to the extent of 48 only because some savings out of that will also go to the government because government being the 40 percent stakeholder okay now let's look at the final formula of the diluted EPS the final calculation reads as the numerator of basic and denominator of basic and it will have some additions to be done so the numerator of basic was 5100 okay but you'll have to also add the nr delta nr and delta dr of all the dilutive ones only so let's look at the dilutive ones only which is b1 and b2 so you have 48 and 3 and you have 30 and 1 so let me add them up 48 and 3 
and 3 and 30 and 1. So what is this finally becoming? You know, 5078 divided by 104. So this number, whatever that comes out to 48.84 dollars a share. This is the diluted EPS at which the new investor would be willing to give you the money right away. Okay, very very critical and important. So, you know, just a quick, you know, uh, calculation reconfirmation for a convertible preferred stock, you got to add back the preference dividend and the equal number of common stock that would be created by conversion. So, this is your delta DR and this is your delta NR. Okay, this is what we are talking about is an impact assessment. Okay, impact assessment is not a formal word. This is, you know, my way of explaining uh, how do we do this delta NR, delta DR. For convertible debt stroke bond, you got to take 1 minus T, you know, as we have said. I'm going to come to stock and warrants, you know, in my uh, next series. I'm going to come to that because that warrants a separate discussion altogether. Okay, so I hope that, you know, this full length example on diluted EPS was clear. Uh, look forward to speak to you in my forthcoming session. Thank you.